Hi, welcome to today's video in which I'm going to be showing you how to play a great song made famous by Neil Diamond way back in 1969, a song called Sweet Caroline, I'm sure you've heard of it. Before we get into it though, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who's liked and subscribed so far. It really does mean the world to me, you lot are fantastic. So without any further ado, go grab your guitar and I'll see you back here in 3, 2, 1. Right, sweet Caroline, let's get straight into it. First, it, the song's in the key of B. Let's get that straight out of the way. The song's in the key of B, and the chords we're going to use are B, F sharp, and E major. Uh, we're going to throw a cheeky little B6 in later, but I'll show you that. Um, first thing, let's get our strum pattern sorted out. We're going to mute the strings. We mute the strings by touching them, but not pressing them. So literally, we're trying to stop them from ringing. So you should get this that muted sound. So what we're going to do, we're going to go down, 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 up. So it goes, that's for each bar. So it goes down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, down, down. That's what, that's for the whole song. A good one to use. So down, 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 up, down, 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 up. Right, B. Uh, you've got your choices for B. You can either do this one which is on the second fret, which is holding down four, three, two, one. Now the one, you don't really play the one. Um, let me hold that up. I've done videos on bar chords, major chords, minor chords, and seventh chords. So you, if you're stuck for any of these, feel, feel free. Please feel free to go back and watch those. But we're gonna, you can either use your little finger or your third finger. We're gonna hold down four, three, two, one. We're going to slightly lift off so we don't play the one. The, the first string is going to be slightly muted. So we're going to be going like this. Or you can use your little finger. Later on I'll show you how to play it with the B played up here on the seventh in an E, an E based bar chord shape. Right, but we'll get through this first. So, first things first, B. So, this, here's the verse. Ba -ba -da -da. This is B. Then we got E. E, 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 E. Back to B. Then F sharp. Then back to B. B, 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 B. E. Chorus, which is the hands touching hands bit, and it goes B, B6. Now, B6, we go back. Do you remember I said earlier that you mute this uh, first string by not playing it, you just lift off from it. Now you've got full permission to play four, three, two, one up there on the fourth fret. So you like that, whether you're using your little finger or the third finger. Hear that? That's a, that's a B6. So, little finger, third finger. So, we got, this is the hands touching hands. So, we've got B first, hands. Then B6, touching hands. Then we've got F sharp. F sharp, E major, and back to F sharp. That's the pre-chorus. So remember what I said. So we've got B, hands, then B6, then F sharp, then E major, and then back to F sharp. Yeah? Okay, so that's your pre-chorus. Now here's the chorus. B, then to E. again okay so let's go through that so you've got that played with the B like that supposing you wanted to play um, bar chords for the B 
So there's a B bar chord up there on the seventh. You'll be familiar with that one. Now, if you want to say you want your B, so you start with your B. Ba -ba -da -da. E, up to B. Down to F sharp, which is second fret. Now watch this, this is that pre chorusy bit. So you've got hands touching hands. B. B6. Right, now let me show you B6. What we're doing with the B6 there, we're up on the, we're on the B string, the second string, and we're playing seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. Ninth fret with our little finger. Yeah, so seven, eight, nine. So a little finger. So you... Get your bar chord, and literally you lift your little finger off and drop it down there, ninth fret, second string, the B string, okay? So you've got your B, and then B6, and then F sharp. intro then it's done it starts off done between the fourth and the fifth string the a and the d strings there we go and we're going to start off by placing our little finger up here on the fourth fret of the a string and our first and second fingers are going to be between the first and the second frets of the d string so it goes like this see that so four and then one two on the D string so one now what the picking pattern I'm doing here uh, is I do down up down up down up down up down down up down yeah do that again for you so we got four on the A one two on the D, one, four, one, two, one, four, two, one, four. And then what we do, we move down to the next part of the intro, which is operated on the fourth and the third strings, the D and the G. We're going to be second fret of the D string. Going up to the fourth fret of the D string, first fret of the G string, and then so if we operate on, if we talk about the D string first, we've got two, four, one on the G. Yep, first fret G string. Second and fourth on the D string with our second and little finger. So we got And then we move down to the next bit which is Mostly on the G string which is one three four Let me Do that again for you fret of the G, second fret of the G. So let's play all of that for you again. So we go, so we start off with our full fret of the A string. Then we move down to uh, onto the D string, second fret D, full fret D, first fret of the G, do that 
again for you. Starting again. And then on the G string, one, three, four. Then full fret of the B, and then we go, which brings us back into the song. So there we have it, Sweet Caroline by the great Neil Diamond. How did you do? Let me know down in the comments section below. And also, if there is any other songs you'd like me to cover for future videos, let me know in the comment section below. I read every single comment and do my best to reply to every single one that I receive. If you liked today's video, please can you click like and subscribe as it helps me grow the channel. And as always, I am so grateful. Thank you very much and I'll see you back here in the next video. Take care everyone. Bye bye.